hello everyone welcome back to this channel i'm ella and in this video we are going to model a bed in different sizes it's going to be a parametric family so you can control each part separately and you can use it in any size that you want so let's start create a new family in generic model start with reference plans i'm going to create one in this part another one in here one in this part and another one in here use this align dimension for making these parts equal create another one and turn it into a parameter which we are going to call length and do the same for the other side this one should be our width now let's go to front view and create another one in this part this part is going to be the thickness, the height. Select its dimension and turn it into another parameter and call it height. We're going to turn this family to legs of the bed. So I'm going to create another reference plan with this peak line and offset of like 4 cm inside this part. Then I'm going to use dimension again for creating parameters in these parts. Select them all and let's call them leg base. I'm going to create another one with another reference plan. For example, something red. And I'm going to use this peak line and offset of like 7 cm exactly in this part. And again, I'm going to use this aligned dimension for creating parameters for them. Select them all and let's call them leg top. For modeling, we are going to go to this front view and use this sweep blend. Click on this sketch pass and draw your pass from this part to here exactly. Don't forget to lock both of them with these two lines. Hit finish and go to profile number one. I'm going to go to this ref level. Now I'm going to use this rectangle for drawing my shape. I'm going to draw it exactly from this point to this part and lock all of them with these reference plans. Use this fillet for creating curves in these corners. Click on this part and turn it into a annotation. And do the same for all of these parts. Let's change its scale. Select them all and use this filter for selecting only dimensions. Now create a parameter for them which we are going to call leg fillet. Now hit finish and go to the profile number 2. In this part again, I'm going to use rectangle for drawing my shape exactly from this point to here. Lock all of them with these reference plans and turn corners into parameters. And use this filter for selecting only these dimensions. Now use the same leg fillet for these parts too. Hit finish and finish again. If you go to this 3D view, you can see this form here. Perfect. But this is only for this corner and we need to repeat it for all of these four parts. Okay, I use mirror for copying this one for these parts too. The point in this part is that you need to go to their edit type and you need to lock them with all of these reference plans for both the base and top. If you do all of those parts correctly, you can control them easily. Now select them and create a parameter for their material. Click on here and let's just call it leg. I'm going to create a material for them for now. So I'm going to create new one. I just want to change the color so I'm going to go with something like this. Now the next part is the board on these legs. So for this we need to go to ref level and create it in this view. Click on extrusion and use this rectangle exactly. I'm going to draw it from this point to this part. 
Now create fillets for these parts too. And now create fillets for these parts too. And select them all. Use this filter for selecting only these dimensions. Create new parameter if you want or just simply use the same fillet. This one. Okay. Hit finish and let's go to this front view. I'm going to move this to here and create another reference plan for the thickness of this part. I'm going to create a dimension from this point to here to this reference plan. And I'm going to turn it into a parameter. Now I'm going to align this one with this part and lock it. Let's go to 3D view and create a material for it. You can either create a new parameter for it or simply select this one. I'm going to use this one since they are both the same. Perfect. Let's go to left view for modeling the top board of our bed. Create a reference plan in this part. If you select it with this icon here, you can turn it into a dimension which we are going to create a parameter from it. I'm going to call it top board height. Now I'm going to now I'm going to go to create and use this sweep blend again. I'm going to draw my path exactly from this part to here and I'm going to lock it with these two reference plans. Hit finish and go to edit profile number one i'm going to draw it exactly on these reference plans so i'm going to use this rectangle and i'm going to draw it in this part then i'm going to use this align for locking it with these reference plans hit finish and go to edit profile number two i'm going to draw it with this rectangle again but i'm going to lock it with this second reference plan Click on align and select this reference plan and then you align and lock it. And do the same for the other lines. Now hit finish and finish again. Select it again and choose this leg parameter for its material. Now if you go to the 3D view, you will have it exactly in here. Now it's time for the mattress. I'm going to create a new family in generic model again. And let's start with these reference plans. This part is going to be our bits, and the other side is going to be the length. Go to left view and create another one in this part. If you select it and click on this part, this will turn into a dimension. Select it again and turn it into a parameter which we are going to call thickness. Go to ref level again and use this extrusion for drawing your shape. I'm going to use this rectangle again and I'm going to create it exactly on these reference plans. Lock all of these parts and fill it these corners. Select it all and use this filter for only selecting these dimensions. Now we need to create another parameter which is going to be simply the fillet. So since this is a mattress and it should be like soft and with curves, I'm going to go to this ref level and I'm going to use this void sweep for creating those curves. Use this sketch pass with this pick line on this part here, here and here. Trim them all together and again create curves for all of these parts. Now hit finish and go to this edit profile. I'm going to use this front view and then I'm going to simply create a curve in this part. And then I'm going to draw these lines around it to only delete this part from here. Hit finish and finish again. Now if you go to this tree view, you can see these curves in this part. For the other side, we need to go to front view again and mirror it. Then if you want it to work correctly, you need to select it and change its work plan with this option here. Then click on this part. Then click on this part. Now if you go to this 3D view and change its size to for example 20 centimeter, 
you can see that all of them are working together before we load it i'm going to create a parameter for its material and i'm going to call it fabric and now load it into the project for now let's put it in here okay let's go to left view and move it up to this part i'm going to use a line and click on this part first and then this line lock it and go to ref level now i'm going to use a line again and lock this center line with the center line of this mattress okay and for its length i'm going to lock it with this red line since we have this top part here i'm going to do this to have no overlap with this part and this mattress first click on here and then click on this part and lock it this is a little bit simple this is a little bit too much simple i'm going to go to its family again and in front view i'm going to create a strip with this sketch path in these lines trim them all together and then align this part with this part lock it and do the same for the other side too hit finish and go to its edit profile in ref level okay i'm going to use this line first from this part to here and then i'm going to use this sp line for creating my shape i'm going to just simply draw something like this in these parts and hit finish okay let's go to this 3d view to see how it will look like okay we need to create curves for these parts to go to its edit sweep and sketch path in this front view and just simply create fillets for this part and this part finish and finish again much better and just simply load it again select it and go to its edit type and in here let's change it to 1 this part to 1.7 and this part to like 85 centimeter i'm going to create a new material for them with white color the last part of this bed is its pillows and of course we are going to create it in a new family but since we are not going to change its size I'm going to try, I will try to model it with a standard size. 70 cm for its length and like 50 cm for its width. Go to left view and create another reference plan in this part. Then create a sweep blend with a sketch path of this point to here lock it and let's go to edit profile number one in this part i'm going to use this rectangle simply to these points and then i'm going to create fillets for these parts select them all and create a parameter for it Hit finish and go to the second profile in here again i'm going to create another rectangle but with offset of like five centimeter fillet its corners and use the same parameter for its dimension too now let's go to left view and create a void extrusion first create a rectangle around it and then with circle line and ellipse Draw a shape like this inside the first model. Hit finish and let's see how it will look like. It's not the best but we can use it for pillow. Now we can load it into the main family. I'm going to align this line with this part and lock it. 
Now, for creating different types of this bed, we are going to go to their family type. In here, I'm going to create a new type with this button here, with this icon here, and let's call this one single. The size for a single bed is 92 in 188 so i'm going to change it to 92 and 188 apply the next one is a double bed and its size is 138 in 188 centimeters so i'm going to change this one to 138 and its length is the same and apply now we need to create another one of these pillows so i'm going to go to its ref level i'm going to select it and turn its visibility to a parameter click on this part and let's call it one let's go to this family type and change it to single now if we are in single it's active but if we switch it to double it should be unchecked so if you go to 3D view and active this preview mode, it will be deactive. But for this part, we need to create two others. So I'm going to copy it to this part and another one for the other side. Select them and let's create another parameter for them and call it two. Now if we go to this family type again, we can check this in double and of course in single type it should be unchecked the next type is queen so i'm going to create another one and the size for this type is 153 in 203 centimeters so i'm going to change these numbers accordingly the next type which is the king is 203 in 203 centimeter so we need to enter the same number in here you can also change the material of different parts if you want so yes that's it i hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial don't forget to like and subscribe and i will see you in the next tutorial